welcome back to our Friday craft. We're going to start out with this olive crest mold and some paper clay. And uh, we have these uh, little pots here that we're going to be working with today. And the first thing we're going to do is break into that paper clay and get our mold. And we're going to dust that with some cornstarch or something powdery that you have so it doesn't stick. We're going to work that clay and so that way it loosens up and we're going to work that into our mold. We're going to use a little stick, a credit card or whatever you have that works for you and we're just going to press that in there and I'm going to use that stick to kind of flatten the black back of that so it lays flat against my pot when I get ready to um, adhere it to that. I'm going to pop that into the freezer and here you have a picture of what it looks like when you put it in the freezer and when you don't. It's kind of rustic and the other one comes out really crisp. Uh, so it just depends on the look that you're going for. So I popped that out of the freezer, got it out of my mold and now I'm just kind of looking it over and I'm going to start kind of flexing that so that I can wrap it around my pot and I'm going to get the tape and I'm going to tape that down and let it dr air dry um, to kind of shape it to the shape of my pot. And then I'm going to grab my glue here and I'm working with the tight bond and I'm actually going to put that on the back of it and I'm, an, and I'm going to uh, work that to the edges of my, mo of my mold. Um, so that that way uh, it'll glue all the way around and I'm going to um, make sure that every bit of that back is covered so that that way it sticks really well and I'm going to stick it right next uh, back on my pot where I had it and I'm going to grab the tape and put it right back on and let it uh, set. Here I'm showing you examples because I wanted to test out what I was doing first uh, because I didn't know how that mold was going to take the wax, it not being sealed. So that is full dark wax. This is dark wax with water mixed in. And this last one here is actually a clear wax <clears throat> put over that and then I went in with the dark wax over it. I also tested out how the moss paste was going to look on these and this is what I'm showing you here and um, this is actually my first time working with it so I just kind of wanted to see. I settled on the wax look so I'm going to go in first with my clear wax and actually um, rub that all over making sure that I get my mold really good and I'm going to um, also put it around my pot. You can see here when it starts to go on my pot you see some white. That is actually because I had some white wax still left in my my brush which turned out great because I was going to dry brush it with some white paint anyway so it kind of uh, worked out for me in the end. So um, I just go over it with a paper towel getting the excess off and now I'm going in with the straight um, dark wax and I'm going right over my mold first. I'm going to wet my paper towel and I'm just going to go back and kind of um, put it where I want it and wipe it back. Put it where I want it and wipe it back. It's just about layering and I'm just making sure that I'm putting a darker string, uh, um, darker mold color around the, um, a darker wax color around the mold, sorry. So then I'm going to get my gilding wax and I'm just going to hit the high points of that, um, that mold shape making sure that I get a little bling in there because I really love it. And now I'm going in with my moss effects and I am going to put all three colors on a plate and I'm working with a, a brush that's really stiff. I'm not um, wetting my brush before I'm just working with it really stiff. And I'm going to start off with my darkest color. So you put that all where you want it and making sure it looks good. And then you're going to go in with your medium and you're going to put that over the dark, not in new places, over where you put the dark. And then you're going to do that with the lightest color. You're going to make sure that you got a lot on your brush because this is supposed to be textured. It's supposed to look like moss. So the more you have on your brush, you just kind of want to pounce it, not swipe, so that you get a lot of that texture. And uh, it'll actually look like moss. It, it does a really great job. So 
Um, then I am going in for my decrepit dust because I love this stuff. And I'm gonna use a damp brush and I'm just gonna kind of wet the places where I want to put it so that that dust will actually um, stick to the areas and um, then also too I'm just gonna kind of uh, take my wet brush and dip it into the decrepit dust as well and just kind of um, push that into some areas um, just to kind of make sure that it's sticking there and then um, when I get kind of that where I like it. I'm gonna go in with my finger and in the dry areas, um, I'm just gonna kind of smush it around to make it look like it's dirt and making sure that um, everything looks like where I want it. Um, so this is the end result. I'm just kind of looking it over and making sure that um, I like it. If not, I would take my brush and go back and kind of smear out some of that, those darker spots with some water and that was it. So thanks for watching and we will see you next Friday.